go. All right, we're going to clean out the injector. we got to remove the injector first. In order to do that, we're going to turn off the valves. We've already turned off the ozone generator and the oxygen concentrator in its pump, so we're not flowing water through. And we're going to turn off the valve from the tank so we have no water flowing through. I'm not going to remove this right now, but we'll remove one union or loosen it and bleed off the additional water and pressure so that we can remove this assembly and remove this from the from the uh, ozone uh, the ozone gas line or feed line and take it over to the bench to clean it up. This is the ozone injector. It's a Venturi injector and this is how we get the ozone into suspension, the ozone gas in suspension in the water. About 95% of, of getting the ozone into suspension occurs at this point right here. Water's flowing through here, creates a vacuum, and we draw the, the ozone gas through this tube, through a channel, and into the water. So it's very important that this is kept clean at all times. When it gets dirty, you'll notice your ORP dropping. You also may notice that the water clarity gets goes down. So we need to keep this clean. Sometimes you need to clean it once a week if you've got really dirty water or you're growing with organic fertilizers. Sometimes you can go by for a year without cleaning it. So it really depends on water quality. You'll find out very quickly how often you need to clean your injectors. So to start, we need to take this check valve assembly and remove it. We just unscrew this and inside we have a washer and there is a small check valve in there. This can be kind of tricky to pull off so you depress it in the center and and it pops off and there's a little check ball in here which is the check valve make sure that you don't lose this ball we have that happen quite often drops on the floor there's a spring assembly in there and those we just lay aside and now we're going to take a look inside of that and what we see with this can you see that mm -hmm. what we see is that we do have some scaling and some looks like some uh, some debris that's built up inside of the channel that the ozone is going to be drawn through this is not enough buildup in this particular injector to actually cause significant problems but it's probably contributing to a slight uh, increase in pressure in the system and a slight drop in ORP because not as much ozone is getting into suspension in the, in the water. So we want to clean this out, but we don't want to use anything hard to scrape it. We want to use a small bottle brush, something that does not have a sharp edge in it that can scratch the interior of that channel. This is probably the perfect tool for cleaning it. We want to make sure that we don't scratch the inside with the end of this bottle brush. But if we take this and insert it down inside of that channel and clean the debris gently without actually scratching the inside of the surface, We can see on that we've pulled quite a bit of material out of there already. We've got a little bit of darkness in there on the brush itself. And I'm being careful to not jam it in there too hard, too firmly, and to not draw it across the surface. So now we need to wash this out or rinse this out and clean it to make sure that water is flowing out and it's flushed out the debris that we've just loosened in there. So we've cleaned it, now we're going to rinse this out. I just want to see that that water is coming out there. Then we'll take the bottle brush and, and 
do it again to clear it out a little bit more and get it good and clean in there. With this one, it only had minor amounts of buildup in it, so we don't really need to do anything else. But if there are more than this, we would want to put this in a soaking solution with about 10% acid and let it soak overnight. And sometimes it's a good idea to have two of these on hand. You can remove one and put it in the bu in a bucket of acid solution and let it soak overnight while you ins reinstall the other one. If you need to clean your injector more frequently, that's a good idea to do that. And we can easily supply you with an injector. They're a little pricey, but it's not too much to, to, to be a real budget buster. I'm just going to do the, a little bit more cleaning. And then we're going to pressurize it a little bit to blow any of that material out and call it good. All right, we've cleaned our, our injector and we've reinstalled the ball check valve in here and put this back in place. And now we're going to reinstall the injector. Before we do, we want to make sure to check the direction. The injectors are directional and it's marked right on them, inlet and outlet. So the outlet is this way on this system. So we turn this valve around. First thing we want to do is reattach our ozone line. It's a little bit tricky and I don't want to cross thread it. There we go. Good and firm, and I'm going to recheck my inlet and outlet again, and get them in the right place. There we go. in the right place. Look up my inlet union. My outlet. We're all way, yeah. Another hand. Tighten those up with the wrench. I snug them a little bit. Open that valve. Put the 
tank and we're ready to turn the system back on.